Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, which is ruled by Venus. So I decided that in honor of Venus, which is the planet of love, beauty, femininity, I'm going to record this Venus series today. It's not really a series, it's one video, but we're gonna discuss what is the Venus placement and especially if it's in a man's chart, what kind of woman he is attracted to and if you are yourself a woman watching this, how do you most likely um, express your femininity? So once again, there is going to be an instruction in the description box how to find your Venus, so don't be shy even if you're new to astrology just click, check, figure it out, play with it a little bit. So check the sign of your Venus, check the sign of a man perhaps that you're interested in to discover what kind of woman he is into Check your sign placement and check your house placement as well. The time steps are going to be provided down below in the description box of this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below your stories, what are your experiences like with this placement. You can also check the house placement as well. So let's say if you have Venus in, like I have Venus in the center of Gemini in the eighth house, I can check Venus in Gemini timestamp, but I can also check Venus in the center of Scorpio timestamp. Now again, this is very general, of course, and your whole chart plays a huge role in this. So, you know, kind of like you be mindful when watching this and jump into conclusions, of course. And also if there's a specific man you're interested in, you can kind of apply the same archetype to his moon sign as well. So you can check his moon as well. However, I find that moon is, works a little bit different, so it's not going to be the same. However, since this description and this analysis is very general, very basic level, I think just by applying even the general description to his moon sign as well, you might figure out what is the archetype of a woman this man is attracted to. Let's say if a man has Venus in the sign of Scorpio and moon in the sign of either Sagittarius or Capricorn, like what kind of woman he's going to be attracted to. Try to listen to all these videos and try to kind of take the pieces together and make your final conclusions. Anyway guys, without any further ado, let's get started with this video. All the information that you need is in the description box and let's get started. Once again, in the chart of a man, this is going to show the kind of woman he is attracted to, what kind of girlfriend he usually has or wants to have. In the chart of a woman, it's going to show what kind of um, woman she is herself, how she expresses her femininity and of course in the same-sex relationships. I think that in the same-sex relationships, if you're interested in women, you will still always look for Venus and if you are interested in man, well, we're gonna talk about this a little bit later um, because I find actually for man placements, like it's a man interested in men, Jupiter doesn't always work necessarily, but what works is Mars. Again, this is something that is, I'm still researching this area of astrology. Um, so if you are in the same sex relationships, give me some feedback in the comments below because this is how I always refine my astrology knowledge by talking to real people and looking at the charts of real people as well. So I really appreciate it. So anyway, Venus and the sign of Scorpio. Well, this is the kind of man who is going to be, I usually find myself always somehow connected to this man one way or another. Man who has Venus in the sign of Scorpio is going to be attracted to women who are kind of Scorpio-like, women who have this depth about them, this very sexy, femme fatale energy. Probably a brunette or darker hair, even though she can be blonde as well. I think usually it could be more so of this archetype, I don't know, Selena Kyle, Catwoman, um, something of that nature, but at the same time, I'm sure there can be also blondes, redheads, all kind of, you know, different type of look. But still, I find since a Scorpio, there's something here dark. Maybe the way she um, dresses is more dark, like darker colors, something sexy, something mysterious. This, this is the kind of man who wants a woman who is maybe even a little bit more into occult or esoteric. So there's something secretive about her, something mysterious about her. The kind of woman that is not very easily figured out. The kind of woman that is sexual. There is something about her, maybe not in your face sexuality, but you look at her and you're just magnetized. There is something about her that, you know, she can she can hypnotize you or something like that. This man can be very jealous lovers. They can also attract women who are quite jealous, quite possessive as well. So this sometimes becomes a bit of this emotional roller coaster where this man just, you know, they attract these women who are very jealous, who are a little bit, you know, kind of like take ownership almost of their lover, but at the same time they are like that as well. Now, of course, depending where this Venus is sitting, in which house it's sitting, with what placement it's sitting, with what other planet it's sitting, is going to behave differently because let's say a man who has Venus on his ascendant 
versus man who has let's say this Scorpio Venus in the 12th house could it could manifest very differently now man who has Venus in the 12th house might often find himself kind of like at a loss in relationships the relationships could be a very painful um, area of his life especially let's say Saturn is also there or let's say if Pluto is also there or even South Node is also there this is the kind of man who might go through a lot of tests and trials and tribulations when it comes to his love life there can be losses and very difficult painful separations even in his life even though there is still this passion and he still attracts this very beautiful very femme fatale type of beauty woman usually though if let's say Saturn sitting with that Venus what tends to happen is kind of like the worst is gonna be over around 30 35 after 35 this is the kind of man who will probably find still a very deep woman a very sexy woman but maybe she's like the kind of woman who has worked on herself who has tamed her more darker side um but before 30 35 usually it could be harder now of course if let's say a man who has venus in the sign of scorpio it's in a different house maybe it's the first house or second house the energy would be different maybe they will even uh, mirror each other in some ways so it really depends pay attention to the house placement as well but anyway what else i want you to add yes definitely is attracted to very passionate women to a little bit secretive women this man can be amazing lovers and very passionate lovers not just like in a purely physical way there is something about sex and the way the man expresses himself so through sex which is almost tantric like so especially if it's a man who is more spiritual and he attracts also women like that that can be like a mind-blowing spiritual experience but still, I think this man can sometimes be himself a very jealous, maybe even a bit of a controlling lover. Um, this is the kind of man who will very often try to research everything about the woman he is interested in. Maybe, I don't even know, do background checks on her. Find everything about her, everything about her life. Figure out, you know, the smallest details and how they fit together. Become even obsessed in figuring her out. At the same time, he can attract a woman who is also very much like that. A woman who is, you know, like a professional, almost like detective. But definitely, she's this dark beauty, this femme fatale. Um, depending on what other aspects are in his chart, he might be in this relationship where uh, he will give also a lot to this woman, maybe even financially. Um, but there is going to be definitely this element where it's not just your traditional marriage or it's not just your like 50 50 type of marriage or even super conservative marriage there is going to be once he marries uh, and has a serious relationship a very deep deep bonding margin of resources or soul body mind all these things and this is what this man wants this man doesn't want just a basic relationship doesn't want just a basic dating even if he has other aspects honestly in his chart there is always something about him where he just wants this something very deep almost like not necessarily drama like but he wants more than just a regular he's looking for more and he wants that woman who gives him that almost like promise of there is something to be discovered here mysterious woman sexy woman so anyway, if you are interested in a man who has Venus in the sign of Scorpio, do check out what also is happening with his Mars, because let's say if Mars, uh, if he has, let's say, Venus in Scorpio and the Mars will be in Leo, then yeah, he will be into passion, telenovela type of relationship, you know, very deep, very passionate, but also a lot of control and jealousy. Now, let's say if his Venus is, uh, if his Venus is in Scorpio, but Mars, let's say, is in Libra, he will be very romantic, he will really, even though he will crave the depth and this crazy, you know, madly in love type experience, he will, he will at the end of the day be more of a romantic, more maybe even a softy. So check what also Mars placement is doing, what Seventh House is doing as well. And yeah, if you are a woman also with this placement yourself, whether it's Venus and Scorpio or in the Eighth House, you are this dark beauty you're very sexual you're very attractive there is something about you especially when you wear like dark colors dark eyeliner um you know something where people may be so deeply attracted to you but also intimidated by your beauty just because there is almost like people feel like they are drawn to you like moth to the flame um i don't have venus in scorpio but i have venus in the eighth house so it is it is definitely not the easiest placement but if you want that very deep life-changing experiences through love you are in the right place so just embrace it and 
embrace the roller coaster of emotions that comes with it because at the end of the day you yourself didn't choose you know a boring experience you wanted something this deep and something this extreme of course if there is pluto once again involved here it could be just all of that energy could be on steroids there could be pain probably also a lot of pain maybe even interest in snm bdsm all these things also in a relationship but yeah one of the definitely very interesting ones now, if you're interested in a man who has Venus in the sign of Sagittarius, or if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Sagittarius, or even ninth house um, yourself, what does it mean? So, Venus and Sagittarius man usually are very attracted to women. Well, I often notice there is something very prominent about foreign culture, different religion, something different about them, or if it's not a foreigner they attracted to, they attracted to women who love travel a lot. Sagittarius is all about sense of uh, adventure, traveling, being active, going on adventures, even if you don't travel internationally, you know, in your own town, going and creating little trips, little adventures, very much likely. So he's attracted to women who are free-spirited, uh, women who, um, you know, I don't know why I always think of this lady from um, Girls HBO series, you know how there was this Jessa who was always, she was like one month in Bali, one month in, uh, I don't know, one month in Paris or something like that. So there is that energy where you travel a lot, you experience a lot. So this is not the kind of man who might like women who are like, what they call it, just very, um, you know, just go to work, go to school, nothing else, um, or just, you know, maybe even too self-centered. He wants the kind of woman who he can expand with, he can explore with. Because don't forget, Sagittarius is a very expansive sign. It's a sign that's connected to Jupiter. So he wants to feel this abundance with her. He wants to feel like he's learning something. There could be even attraction, you know, to teachers figure sometimes, to women who teach somehow, to women who are very philosophical, very spiritual, very worldly. Um, this will be a guy who will be fascinated with a girl, again, if she's from a different culture than he is, or if she just travels a lot, if she's free-spirited, if she's the kind of girl who can just, you know, last minute pack her bags and go on a road trip. Like, he's like, oh my god, this is the kind of woman I want to be with, this is the kind of woman I want to marry. So there is this very free-spirited approach. Sometimes this man, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that they are just, you know, players, how some people think, right, of Sag, like you're a player or something like that. No, it could be quite the opposite. He could just be very free-spirited. So, you know, he wants the kind of woman who he will feel free within a relationship rather than restricted. And it doesn't have to be necessarily that he will be checking out other women or that he will be dating other women or not wanting to commit. He might want to commit, but his ideal partner might be just someone he will feel free with rather than restricted in the, you know, in the traditional institute of marriage or in this, you know, kind of like we do the same thing every day. He might be very turned off by that. But of course, check also what his other placements in his charts are doing because they're gonna tell you also a lot about what, you know, is he actually a player or is he just someone who is looking for this very liberating somehow experience through love. And of course, if you are a woman who has Venus in the center of Sagittarius, embrace your sense of adventure, embrace travel, embrace, you know, learning about different cultures, all those things that have to do with Sagittarius, embrace learning, higher learning, uh, being a little bit of this bohemian lady, like, who goes, I don't know, of course, um, it's like, it's not always about the budget or whatever, but like this, a little bit of this lady who, I don't know, goes to different festivals, travels around the world, jet set, babe, you know, whatever, manifest it, you know, if, if it's something you're interested in. Um, but basically be free, be abundant, just, you know, constantly, I think how we, like, if we really honor our Venus in our chart, where it sits, what its expression is, we always find ourselves in a very good place in life, that's something I noticed. So if you are Venus and Sagittarius woman, just really embrace this free-spirited nature you have, you have it for a reason, and of course check what Jupiter is doing as well. Now, if it is a man who has Venus in the sign of Capricorn or even 10th house, or if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Capricorn, what does it mean? So a man who has Venus in the sign of Capricorn. So first of all, this man sometimes can be a little bit shy. So he will not necessarily approach the woman he is interested in, of course, unless something else is happening with Mars directly, because he's a, bit of a, he's a little bit afraid of rejection. Um, I've noticed this for even men who have moon on the side of Capricorn. There is some a little bit of a serious tone when it comes to love, when it comes to love expression. 
even if there is other placement that like a Gemini and Sagittarius and things like this so there is a bit of the serious tone and sometimes even fear if you're of rejection this is the kind of man who is attracted to women who have their life together sometimes doesn't have to be a little bit more older than them or a little bit more mature than them let's say this is the guy who is a class clown always makes everyone laugh or is this life of a party if he has Venus in Capricorn, you bet that the lady he is going to end up with is going to have this very, a little bit more conservative than him, very put together look. She might be very different in how she expresses herself. So if let's say even if this is the guy who is the less serious guy on the planet, who is always laughing, always creatively expressing himself, the woman you will see him with, and we've all seen this in culture, in entertainment industry, in you know, multiple examples where a man is just so all over the place and a woman next to him is very serious, like very dressed, very even conservatively sometimes. That's what he is attracted to. Deep down he has this side of him as well. So even if he, let's say, is the most free-spirited man in the world, he might, because Venus rules money, in the sign of Capricorn he might have this very serious approach to money, to status. He might care about these things even if it doesn't look so on the surface. So he also wants a woman and a partner who appreciates and values the hard work, the status, the money as much as he does. This is the kind of man who wants stability, security and commitment. So once again, most likely won't be playing around. He just wants to commit to someone. And of course, if there is also other aspects in his chart, sometimes men who have Venus in the sign of Capricorn tend to experience a little bit of a delay when it comes to their love life. So it, it tends to come to them a little bit later in life or if it doesn't, uh, if it's not the case, I've noticed men who have Venus in the sign of Capricorn very often, let's say they start dating their high school sweetheart or their university, you know, um, you know, their university peer and then, you know, they marry very early and they stay together also with their partner for a very long time. So this is again a committed type, less of a wandering eye, so that's great for you ladies to know. He might be shy at first, but once you get to know him, you will see there is this very, very um, hidden passionate side in him. And if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Capricorn, you might appear more serious. You don't necessarily have to like look super conservative or anything like that. A lot of my female friends who have Venus in the sign of Capricorn are actually like, if you just look at them from how they dress or how they express their femininity, they seem to be this very bohemian, very free-spirited. However, Venus in Capricorn is one of the placements that values things like high quality brands, um, most of my friends, even if you see them like wearing, I don't know, some kind of a hippie looking, I don't know, gown or something, you bet that it's from some really nice brand uh, because once again, there is this appreciation and value of things of high quality, high status, high brand and things like this. So they might appear very free spirited. However, you bet that their bag is of a very nice, you know, quality brand. Again, it doesn't have to be the top brand, the most expensive brand, but there is appreciation of quality, style, seriousness, commitment, all of these more conservative values. Um, and these are also the kind of women that I noticed they are not necessarily calculative that when it comes to love, but there is a little bit also of more of the serious approach. Sometimes they, this, this is the kind of women who feel better also when they are around men who are very secure, a little bit older at times. And there might be a little bit of a blockage early on in the life of such woman when it comes to expressing her femininity. She might just kind of sometimes not know how to express her own femininity, but just kind of, let's say, her friends, uh, my friend who is a model, she, all of her friends around her were also models, so she sort of like um, did what expressed her femininity the way all of them did, and it's only like years later she figured out, oh well, I actually don't like dressing up or cutting my hair the way they do, I want to do something different. So sometimes it comes a little bit with delay, and this is the kind of women who also really like taking workshops even sometimes on how to express your femininity, how to heal your feminine energy, all these things. And again, usually this is the women who sometimes tend to bloom a little bit later, closer to like Saturn return. But it's a good placement, it's a serious placement. Check what Saturn is doing, check what Saturn house placement is doing. Um, and if you're attracted to such men, one thing I can tell you very, very um, unlikely, unless there's something different in his chart, he will be a player. He is looking for something serious. Even a man who has moon in the sign of Capricorn. These are hardworking types and they want a partner who values same things as they do. They value a woman who is hardworking, who has also achieved something and has made 
maybe a name even for herself, not just someone who is whatever, like kind of hasn't achieved much. They they really respect people who have knowledge and wisdom and um, hard work ethic as well. Okay, now let's talk about a man who has Venus in the sign of Aquarius or if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Aquarius, what does it say about your femininity? So Venus in Aquarius is one of the more interesting placements and uh, I will actually mention a few things that I found uh, in my research about charts of same-sex relationships even as well with this placement because I found actually women who have Venus in Aquarius um, as much as also Venus in Gemini tends to sometimes either be in same-sex relationships or at least open to them so they might be both into men and women um, and I found again Aquarius and Gemini were the top two signs for whatever reason in my research that seems to this this placement seems to kind of work that way there so now Venus in Aquarius man is going to be attracted to a woman who is different. She's smart, she's free-spirited, she's independent, not clingy. Venus in Aquarius cannot stand clingy people. Unless, you know, there is something very contradictory in the chart, even like I even knew Cancerian rising still. He didn't <laughs> he didn't like clingy people at all. So it's very very unlikely that um, if your man you're interested in has been sent of Aquarius, he will be quick to commit uh, or he will appreciate any signs of neediness, he might be very turned off by that because he is looking someone to break free and liberate himself with. He is looking for a friend, um, someone he could go both to, I don't know, Burning Man together, to a trip somewhere and also at the same time maybe it's pancakes in the morning. He is looking for a little bit, not necessarily of a body, but he's looking for someone he can have a sense of friendships, commonality with. Um, he is looking for someone he can dream with. He is looking for someone he can have fun with. He is sometimes open also. I find Aquarius to be very open or at least curious about uh, polyamory or about, you know, uh, same-sex relationships as well. So it doesn't have to be necessarily, but there can be that curiosity and this openness to these things. Once again, I find Venus and Aquarius very, very often in charts of especially female clients who are in the same-sex relationships or at least open to same-sex relationships or experimenting, going through that stage of uh, trying to discover whether that side of themselves, you know, uh, is what they actually are or not. So sometimes they both into men and to women, but again, yes, Venus and the Aquarius is that placement for women especially where there is interest in same-sex relationships sometimes in the chart of a man as well but to be honest my research kind of suggests that it's more common in women rather than men but anyway and yeah so if you want this kind of man Venus in the sign of Aquarius be yourself because that's the thing you are not gonna manipulate him into anything he is very like it's hard to figure out how his mind works because one moment he can be one way and next day it's something else with him so if you're the kind of woman who is just very needy maybe very needs a lot of reassurance it could be tough with this guy unless you really go through a huge transformation process internally because once again he's not going to be rushing into commitment he's not going to be necessarily um super super hypersensitive to whatever your needs are he wants to have fun, he wants to have a good time, he wants to be friends first and foremost. Very often this is the kind of man who would say, oh my wife or my girlfriend is my best friend and stuff like that. Because friendship is very important for them. Don't forget Aquarius rules, friendships rules, society, like our status, and not, not our status, but like our place, let's put it this way, in the society. So yeah, it, they can be very fun. If you want someone to go on adventure, if you want someone to have a good time with, this could be an amazing man to date. Now, if there are certain other aspects in this person's chart, um, if let's say North Node is sitting there, or there is other planets, let's say, I don't know, even Pluto if there, this is the kind of man who might be very attracted to a woman who is somehow very unique, very different, maybe there is even a little bit of attraction to women who are how to put this in a correct way uh, there could be something over the top sexual but not in your Scorpio way more in your kind of 
hardcore, I don't know, like um, hardcore, even a bit strange way. I don't know what's the right word. Actually, one of my exes had that and the kind of women he was attracted to always was blowing my mind. It was just, you know, not your regular woman. And he was a very conservative guy. He was like living in Connecticut, you know, where, you know, in this very kind of uh, preppy, let's put it this way, neighborhood. He was not into those kind of women at all. He was into women who were very different. I mean, even when he dated me, like, I mean, I'm not the most like normal kind of say or whatever traditional woman either, but he was always interested in someone who either had some kind of unusual job or was expressing even how they were in sex in some kind of unique interesting way. He's the kind of man who can even be attracted to women like astrologers, women who are just, again, doing something very different, not your usual type. Um, from that experience with that person, what I can say is that definitely uh, our sense of friendship was very important for our relationship and I had a very long-term relationship with a person. We were more, I often felt like we weren't really a couple i often felt like he was my best friend and even honestly relationship ended long time ago and we're still friends so friendship once again plays very important role for these people other women who was he was also with um he was like in friendship type of situations with before they would start dating so once again friendship is going to be important hanging out together is going to be important um but when it comes to commitment, again, it depends what other aspects of this person's charts are doing, what Saturn is doing, what Moon is doing. Pay attention to that. And if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Aquarius, try to not put yourself in the box so much. You can go through a lot of stages of experimentation, even going through stages where you are experimenting with different type of men you date, even have a stage of curiosity about relationship with women. Just let yourself experience whatever you feel drawn to, because the more you're going to try to restrict yourself, the more you're gonna kind of sabotage your own process of discovering who you are. Dress, you know, in a way that you like, not could be some kind of unique way. It's fine, you know, as long as you're happy, just, you know, experiment, have fun, play a little more. Okay, so if you are interested in a man who has Venus in the sign of Pisces, or if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Pisces, what does it mean? Well, I wanna be honest with you, Venus in the sign of Pisces, or even Venus in the 12th house, is not the easiest placement. Let's talk first, let's start with more of the positives of this placement. Man who has Venus in the sign of Pisces will be very attracted to traditionally soft, nurturing, girly, feminine type of woman. He will probably be very much okay if the woman, you know, just like has some kind of issue and she needs even financial help. He will gladly want to help this woman. He will want to take care of her. He will be okay with her just, you know, even if she is in some kind of difficult situation, he will want to be there for her, save her, redeem her from whatever issues she is going through. I feel like the biggest requirement and the kind of the biggest turn on for this man is that the woman is just very feminine, very, you know, almost like needs to be saved on some level spiritual, kind, um, when he sees this he melts and very often this is the kind of man who could be attracted to a lady who is a little bit of a damsel in distress. Um, in a chart, to be honest, of one of my exes, he had Venus in the 12th house and the, I perfectly in the moment when we met at least was matching the description damsel in distress and he just felt like it, his, it was his duty to save me from whatever painful experiences I was going through at that moment. So you see how here you know, very often this is a person who tends to sacrifice themselves, to be honest, for their relationships. So you know how we always say, right, oh, all men don't care, all men are this, men are this. We tend to generalize men sometimes that they just don't care, we just want this, we just want that. Now Venus in the 12th house or Venus and Pisces are the good guys of the zodiacs. This is the nicest guys, this is the guys who will do anything and everything for you. But they tend to unfortunately somehow find themselves at times being hurt by relationships. Um, there was a man I was interested in who had Venus in the 12th house and the amount of pain and hurt he went through in his relationships, wow, it was, you know, really hardcore. Um, sometimes men who have Venus in the 12th house could either be healers themselves or even psychics of some sort, or they could be attracted to women who have healing gifts, healing abilities, psychic in some way. There could be sometimes attraction to unavailable partners, unavailable people, this fantasy uh, connection, this dreamy connection, this spiritual connection, where you maybe haven't even talked to each other for four years, but you still see them in your dreams. So in a way, you have to be a little bit careful with this placement because 
um, even man with displacement can sometimes stay in a connection where nothing really is materializing and it's all kind of just happening in this 5D dream space for many, many years. And for some people it's okay, but there is a lot of people who want a real marriage, real relationship. You might need to be a little bit more careful here. Sometimes this man could be attracted to a little bit unavailable partners, partners who are not there. In a chart of a man, this can also show that, especially if it's 12th house, maybe not even so much Pisces placement, that he will be attracted to women from faraway land, from faraway country. A woman who also maybe travels a lot or goes on spiritual retreats or goes into some kind of pilgrimages. He might even find his wife when he's on a pilgrimage or on some kind of spiritual journey. It might be somehow very important moments of how a relationship starts. Um, there is something here also about once again, it's this unconditional love. This is the man that falls very hard in love but what's also interesting is this man can be quite shy so if he feels on some level that you are not gonna be accepting of him and that you're gonna reject him he might close off and just retreat very very quickly and because he's very sensitive so he senses like even the tiniest uh, moments where you are not interested he's like okay okay that's all over he kind of gives up even sometimes too easily so a bit of a softy this guy huh um at the same time, this can also sometimes indicate that in the chart of a man, once again, there needs to be other um, placements confirming this. And even in the chart of a woman as well, there can be a secret affair. Maybe a relationship, when it just starts with even his own wife, could be very secretive. There can be a lot of secrets about this. They can try to hide the relationship um, you know, from the public eye, especially if it's, you know, I've seen it in charts of celebrities sometimes, celebrities who are very private in their relationships, they tend to either have Venus uh, placements in the 8th house or in the 12th house as well. Both are very secretive, trying to hide it away from the public eye. So he might have an affair once in his life, given there's other things in his chart that support that. But if it's not an affair, he might be very romantic even when it comes to sex, when it comes to expression, you know, self-expression in bad. Um, sex could be a very important part of relationship also for this man. Not in a way of where it's more of a like, just a physical thing, but it becomes this very romantic spiritual thing where he just wants to hide away from, this, from the world with, with his either wife, girlfriend, woman he loves. Uh, what else to add about this placement? But yeah, he will be attracted to someone who is very spiritual, maybe someone who he feels like he needs to help somehow, be there for. If he feels like he can help this woman somehow or be in help for her, especially if there is other um, placements in his chart suggest that, you know, maybe his mother also been going through a more difficult time in life. Especially in that case, he will feel like, oh my god, I just have to be there for this woman because he, there might be some connection here where it reminds him of certain pain that he saw either his mother experienced or his sister's experience or women that he saw in the early age have experienced. So there is that desire to help. And sometimes, unfortunately, once again, there is a bit of a loss when it comes to love life pain sometimes you have to be very careful to not fall for unavailable people or to not stay in connections just 5d or whatever while maybe another partner has moved on and is in another relationship but you are still dreaming fantasizing about this person now if you're a woman who has venus in the sign of pisces embrace your femininity this is the exaltation sign especially a woman i feel like might feel this exaltation very strongly for is for in a chart of a man once again it will really depend what house it's in because let's say if a Venus, you know, in the fifth house in Pisces, it's not going to be a negative placement. He will feel more of a positive with this placement. For example, a woman is more spiritual, more nurturing and all of this. Now, if let's say it's in a 12th house, then yes, there's going to be some losses, perhaps some, even in the sixth house as well, there might be some losses, some conflicts when it comes to his love life. So it really depends here on the house placement as well. But now if it's a woman who has Venus and Pisces, this is a very beautiful woman. Who, this is the woman who likes to express herself. She might look very beautiful in white. White color could be very important here. She might be very spiritual. Her spirituality and her sacred feminine might be very big and important part of how she expresses her femininity. She might be very interested in connecting to the archetype, maybe not necessarily even with goddess, but of certain divine feminine energy. and. This is the kind of woman who's usually, again, once she's very beautiful and this, not, not, this doesn't necessarily have to do with just like physical features or something like that. This is just her energy. She might be an energetic even healer of some sort. This is the woman who is caring, emotionally enigmatic, spiritual. So, you know, I feel like if you are Venus and a sign of Pisces woman, it's not too hard 
to express your femininity. It's something that comes to you very instinctual, very intuitive. So I don't feel like you necessarily struggle a lot with your femininity. Now let's talk about a man who has Venus in the sign of Aries. So what kind of woman he likes? So as you can guess, Aries is very masculine placement, very active placement. So this is the kind of man who loves women who are spontaneous, who are fun, who are, um, you know, who are, I don't want to say aggressive necessarily, but women who just are straightforward. This is not the kind of man who wants to sit around and guess, why are you moody today? Um, you know, why are you suddenly not talking to him? He likes a little bit of direct approach when it comes to woman he is with. He likes when you're just telling him, hey, I like you, or hey, I don't like what you did, or whatever, like straightforwardness here. A little bit of this tomboyish maybe even quality. I've seen that men who have Venus in the side of Aries sometimes I attracted to women who are a little bit more simple, who are a little bit more tomboys. This is the kind of man who really likes to chase a woman. This is not the kind of man who likes if, let's say, you yourself are gonna go and chase after him. He likes to feel that chase. So if you're a woman interested in a man who has Venus in Aries, let him chase you a little bit because they do like that. They, lo they like the fun, the thrill of it. So show that you're available. Don't play way maybe too hard to get, but play a little bit hard to get just enough for him to kind of you know, flirt with you, see that you're interested, but always kind of, you know, let him be this man, let him approach you. This is the kind of man who really likes fun dates. He likes you being also very independent. So let's say if you're a very clingy woman or if you're the kind of woman who, you know, needs a lot of like reassurance all the time, so if you cannot be independent on your own, it will not work out because he needs to feel like he's chasing you. He needs to feel like you are always, you know, there is a little bit more to be won when it comes to you. So he will keep chasing you for as long as, let's say, like Venus and Aries, man is attracted to, to a woman who is very independent. So besides a relationship, you need to have, you know, your own job, like your own hobbies, your own life, not be like 24 seven with him. If you're going to be more codependent and be with him all the time, once again, he's going to lose interest very fast, this type of man, and he's going to feel like he won you and he, Venus and Aries man can be very fickle. He might move on to, to towards, you know, conquering someone else. So the way you want to be with this man is to make sure that you have a lot of things going on for yourself, be very independent, do your own things if this is the man you want. And because you will have this independence, this is what's gonna keep him being very attracted to you and he will keep chasing you. So again, he's attracted to a woman who is independent, has her own life, does things her own way, um, is a bit maybe more simple, even not overly emotional, but at the same time passionate enough and interested enough. So it is a bit kind of complicated because once again, Aries rules Mars, not Venus. So. You don't want to be here way too aggressive because he's not going to like it, but you don't want to also be overly emotional, you know, lady who just is around him all the time. He might be turned off by that a lot. So be independent, be fun, have your own life, keep your own interests, don't show him that you are just all over him. Keep him, you know, guessing a little bit, keep him chasing you. As long as you can keep him chasing after you, he is going to you know, be conquering you, but also flirt with him. Not in that way where you're over the top and his face aggressive, but like tease him a little bit so that he knows that, oh wow, she's interested in me, I gotta chase her, I gotta get her. But at the same time, don't give yourself away completely. And I think this man will just, you know, be head over heels in love with you. So he might be also very attracted to women who are very active, like active lifestyle, like travel, like working out. Anyone who I ever met who had major areas in their chart, they always were very, very much into working out really like being very active, active lifestyle. It's something that these people really like. And if you have Venus in the sign of Aries, part of your femininity is to be a little bit tomboy-like and be active, like to run, like to play, I don't know, games outside. Maybe as a child is growing up, you really like certain, you know, playing with boys, maybe even more than playing with girls and like, perfect day, uh, perfect dresses, little dolls and stuff like that. So part of your femininity is like allowing yourself to make your own rules. And in this day and age, you know, what it means to be a woman is so much more than what it used to be. So you really here can allow yourself to be active, to be initiator, to be a pioneer of some sort, to do things that you just like. 
and you know, let me know in the comments below if you have been in scenarios or if you're interested in a man who has that placement. How is it playing out in real life? I'll be very interested to learn more about this as well from your feedback. Now let's talk about a man who has Venus in the sign of Taurus or if you're a woman who has Venus in the sign of Taurus, I will tell you a lot about how you may be expressing your femininity. So a man who has Venus in the sign of Taurus, this is the man who loves women who are naturally beautiful, women who take care of themselves, women who are stable, not maybe too much of a drama queen or too much even um, tomboyish or like crazy kind of like party girl or something like that. He wants a woman who is nurturing, feminine, someone who is this earth goddess energy, very connected to nature, to animals, very maybe even creative in some way, has beautiful voice. This is the kind of man who are very attracted to women with beautiful speaking and singing voices at times. This is the kind of man who just likes a bit of old-fashioned, traditional woman, but not necessarily in a way as Capricorn. A Venus man kind of values more conservative, like in a in a more in a more serious way. Venus in the sign of Taurus man loves a little bit of that dream equality, a little bit of that. I always think of it that and have a better um, better expression for that. This Earth goddess vibes. This very woman who is connected to nature. Maybe her body is not necessarily super skinny, but she's a bit curvy, like, you know, she has all of these curves, right? Sometimes even a little bit extra weight could be very attractive to this man. This is the kind of man who likes a woman who is feminine, who is connected to her femininity and maybe is not too pushy, not trying to too hard, even in terms of how she expresses her sexuality, um, he might not like necessarily a woman who puts too much makeup. I noticed something about people who have in general very strong stores, even if they like makeup and all these things, they want it to be a bit more natural. They do not like too crazy, you know, layers and layers of foundation and different things, because Taurus, again, it rules nature, so it wants things to be natural. This is the kind of man who, when he's in love, he's gonna try to impress you and he's really gonna try to take care of you very well, impress you on a date, uh, send you beautiful flowers. This old-fashioned school of romance is very, very prominent with Venus and Taurus men and even Venus and Taurus women as well. So these are the people who like to take you on a drive and get, you know, this um, old-fashioned, I don't know, ice cream even date, play some nice song, um, dance with you. I don't know, I always think of it as like, I don't know, the theme that comes to mind is like La La Land, where they had this theme where they were dancing, you know, on the street. There is that old school, old fashioned vibe to that. Music would be a very big part. This could be a man who could be attracted to women who are musical in some way, or it could be also a man who will try to sing you a song when he falls in love with you. Overall, I like Venus and Taurus. Venus is at home in Taurus. So, as you see, it's like, it's a lot more natural expression rather than something that is a little bit more complicated aspect uh, to it. So, check what's happening in his seventh house, check where his also Libra placement is at. It's gonna tell you a little bit more about him as well. But overall, I love this placement. If you have Venus and Taurus man nearby, send him over, you know, if he's available, of course. Now, let's talk about Venus and Gemini man, uh, what kind of woman he is attracted to. And if you're a Venus and Gemini woman, I have Venus and Gemini, so I'll share some secrets with you today. Um, what do you need to know here? Venus and Gemini man, both men and women are very chatty, very talkative, love to talk. Um, Venus and Gemini man could be attracted to the kind of woman who really likes to talk. So his wife, actually, girlfriend, long term girlfriend, could be the one who is just really, really a bit of a chatterbox or maybe is even some kind of blogger or some kind of a, a speaker. Maybe she even does this for a living. Um, I've seen this even with the moon sometimes in Gemini. They tend to attract this kind of partners. Uh, this is the kind of, he's attracted to kind of woman who is curious, who likes to learn. Not a boring type. Venus in Gemini, man, gets bored himself quite quickly in relationships. So he is very much attracted to the kind of woman who is always surprising him in some way. The woman today maybe is, I don't know, dressed like, like today I'm wearing this shirt, whatever, but tomorrow I'm gonna dress like a bohemian goddess and the day after tomorrow I'm gonna get dressed as, I don't know, a rock star chick or something like that. You gotta always be, you know, cause since he is a bit fickle, he sometimes might have a wandering eye. Um, 
you might need to be the kind of woman who changes her hair a lot or whatever so that he is always like you know he doesn't know what to expect from you i actually know uh i have an example also of a venus and gemini man so my friend was dating this guy and they were kind of like i don't know our own sex in the city whatever couple big and carry and stuff so she was the woman she doesn't have venus and gemini but she um she was constantly changing her style because he was like she was like in fashion industry so she was kind of changing her style she went through everything long hair blonde hair dark short hair you name it and they were meeting each other all the time running into each other when we lived in new york city and literally every time whether it's some kind of uh, events or a nightclub he would see her he would never recognize her he would always think that she's you know some woman he never met but it was still her and somehow even though their relationship didn't really work from how i know it very well over the years he kept choosing her but she was always changing herself she was always changing how she was looking and the venus and gemini man likes when there is certain unpredictability element when it comes to a woman when she's always changing when she's not the same if you make an impression on this man that you are kind of just always staying the same he might kind of take you for granted because he will be like oh well you are still there still the same old right it's not necessarily something that excites him so much in general people who have venus and gemini even women they need something about their partner that is just like wow i gotta figure this out this person is a bit quirky i gotta figure out whoa yesterday they were this today they this they like the kind of partners who change their even personal style a lot they are the kind of people who like to themselves change their personal style a lot these are also the kind of people who really like to talk about relationships these are the kind of people in venus and gemini man or woman they love sending long texts they love they when they're in love with you they like to um, write about feelings they might be interested in also self-expression through music through poetry these are the kind of people who really like to communicate about love itself about feelings itself i often notice that these people end up uh, making their own either youtube channels or writing books about this or just talking about this matters for a very long time because once again gemini is communication venus is love so you put these two energies together and this is the kind of person who can talk about this matters for a very 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 long time i myself have venus and gemini and you can see like what what i'm doing here talking about venus itself already for one hour i think so it comes naturally because once again gemini is that curiosity is that exploration is that communicative ability whether writing or speaking and Venus is planet of love, so it becomes very interesting here. Now, what else I wanted to say here? Um, I don't know about men with Venus and Gemini, but I've noticed bisexuality being very present, um, and at least there is a curiosity about this in um, not so much even same-sex relationship exclusively, but literally more so of bisexuality could be present with Venus and Gemini women. Uh, this is the kind of women who might even prefer serious relationships with let's say man but they have that curiosity in them and attraction to both sexes equally on a sexual or a romantic level so it will of course depend what aspects venus is receiving where moon is at and to be honest with you guys i am still when it comes to like even uh, lgbtq theme i'm still researching a lot of that just because um it is relatively newer research that is available so like you have to kind of create your own first-hand research there is no really sources where you can read or learn a lot about it so you know as whenever i encounter people and encounter clients i just kind of try to learn what i can uh, and analyze it the way i can but yeah venus and gemini is by curious for sure um i don't know it's my placement so i'll let you use your imagination about this but um what else with venus and gemini there is they like sometimes i don't want to say play games but it's gonna be exciting because like if someone comes to you and i noticed even i am venus and gemini when a man just kind of like makes it so easy for me oh hey i like you as much as i want it deep down because of my other placements i lose interest very quickly when a guy has something about him hmm, duality something i cannot figure out that is attractive because once again, Venus and Gemini are very curious. They are someone who wants to explore things, who learn, who wants to learn things, who wants to analyze things even a little bit, who wants to have fun. And it's a bit of a placement where you, actually, if you're a woman who has Venus and Gemini, even if you're a man who has Venus and Gemini, you're lucky because you're gonna stay youthful for much longer and you might stay looking young even in your 40s, 50s, 60s. You're gonna have, even as you age, you're gonna have that very youthful vibe about you. Um, as long as also, of course, you don't restrict yourself because I've noticed when I just, let's say, put myself in a position where I just work, work, work 
and stuff I kind of lose this energy and actually start looking older but when I'm like exploring having fun going out and about and stuff I become like this very youthful very quickly again so this is the kind of man who can be into a woman who's a bit of a social butterfly some kind of blogger maybe sometimes a bit of a party girl um communicative one um a woman has again duality to her something exciting about her he likes these women and actually women even who have been a sense of gemini you might like this very flowy dresses you might like to experiment with fashion um so yeah it's a, it's like how to say it's not a bad or a good placement it's a fun placement i actually don't mind being Venus and gemini at all just because when it comes to love and relationships there is always some kind of exciting experience and if you keep an open mind uh check what your mercury of course is doing as well it's gonna reveal you a lot overall a really fun placement fun people yes sometimes can be a bit of a wandering eye but it's hard to say just from one placement so we're gonna check what other aspects of this person's charts are doing of course now let's talk about venus and cancer venus and cancer oh dear lord i dated somebody with this placement <laughs> venus and cancer man he likes a woman of course we need to check here up here moon placements can be very important because moon placement here is going to determine how it's actually playing out because cancer rules by is ruled by moon Venus in Cancer man is very attracted to women who are a little bit more old-fashioned, who are a little bit more curvy, have that maternal energy about them, have this empress vibes about them, and guess what? Who, who was dealing with such men, right? He wants the kind of woman who nurtures him, who takes care of him on some level. Um, there can be a little bit of this archetype of a mama boy type, which, you know, if you see the red flags, you yourself figure out what to do, if you like this or not, because I personally don't like that. Um, there can be, you know how they say there is, what is this archetype, I think even cultural Italian like mama boy archetype, but I don't think it's only in Italy, in other cultures they have this as well, I think. But where, you know, there's a bit of an expectation how a woman's gonna be nurturing you, taking care of you. These guys could be extremely, extremely romantic, they could value their home, being at home with their partner, their loved one, is gonna be very important for them. Home is a sense of security, so if let's say this is the man who is not saddled financially, not even so financially, but more so, if this is a man who doesn't have a secure home, it's gonna be very hard for him. He is the kind of person, sometimes I've even seen, unfortunately, this man tend to stay in a marriage just that they don't even want to be in necessarily just because there is a mutual home that they share or something like that or even get into in the more complicated cases get into relationships where because there is some kind of house benefit they go there again it's more hardcore cases that was probably very rare it's just my luck was very bad with that but venus and cancer man wants a woman who is nurturing protective a little bit shy a little bit insecure maybe he wants the kind of woman who might read his mind because I'll be honest with you, this is not the kind of man who are the most expressive when it comes to their feelings. They, you know, depending on what Mars is doing, they might not be the ones who are making the first move, especially when they're in love with you. They might be very shy to their, uh, to their love expression. Of course, depending what Mars is doing here as well, what Moon is doing, because what I also noticed, these are the men when they're in love, they try to hide their heart, they try to hide their feelings. They make sometimes their feelings secretive because they're so scared that you know, they have this hard exterior, but they are afraid that once it cracks open, you're going to be able to hurt them. So they, there might be, you know, Venus and Cancer, as much as, you know, um, it seems to be right, should be like this protective, loving lover. It's sometimes it's a quite complicated placement, especially if there's hard aspects there, because they're just so protective of their... Um, inner world and they don't really let in people so easily and they're so afraid to get hurt that sometimes they end up sabotaging relationships you know how a crab moves right right to left right to left especially if again mars is afflicted it can be you know a very difficult placement because the man will not be able to make a move um at the same time if a woman is also overly aggressive he doesn't like this either so go, go figure what does he want because if a woman approaches him too directly he is also going to shy away and restrict himself from the relationship but at the same time, to wait on him to also come to you might also be taking a long time. Of course, again, it depends what other placements are there. But once again, these are people who are shy, who are very sensitive. They are really sensitive, very sensitive about their home. How their relationship was with their mother is also going to have a huge effect on how this man is going to be in his own love life when he grows up. So if there is a difficult dynamic that he experienced at home and with his mother, 
it might be a lot harder. However, if you had a very supportive mother, if there was a good relationship between his parents, he will just be this very traditional man who wants to have a house, wants to have a marriage, wants to have a woman who will be like a mother of his children. He is attracted to this, again, empress type, motherly qualities. So yeah, that's your Venus in Cancer guy. Now let's talk about Venus in Leo. Oof, Venus in Leo. I think Leonardo DiCaprio from Famous People has it. But, you know, and I know he is not like the, the best example of the best man or something, but this is the kind of man who I attracted to literally, you know, your um, social, how they call it, social lionesses, like these women who have this um, star girl quality, these women who have this very good public status, models, you know, actresses, uh, eat girls, you know, these kind of women who, you know, usually, yes, they are sometimes more traditionally attractive, whatever the traditional attractive standards are, but even if, let's say, they are deviate from whatever, again, societal norms of beauty are, there is something very queenly about them, kingly, queenly, right? Um, they dress very well, there is usually this hair, they are very, you know, refined, how they behave um, in society, they are very, like, Kind of like high society type i guess i don't know they attracted to this man and this can be a possessive and jealous lover he likes women who you know he likes women who sometimes could be higher status than him not necessarily but i find like venus and leo man very attracted to looks and very attracted to how a woman carries herself they want someone who is the bright star in whatever room she walks into. Venus and Leo man wants a woman who is passionate, who is expressive, who is a bit regal in some way. He wants a woman, you know, sometimes, once again, this could be even a man who will choose a woman just based on how she looks, not so much even on her inner world. Sorry to say that. Again, it needs to be other aspects in his chart, comp uh, you know, confirming that. But her appearance and how she makes him look, um, it's gonna be very important, very very important. Sometimes he's too focused on that and you know He ends up, you know, learning hard lessons also because of that because there's just way too much too much investment and in Appearance and he wants a class a classy sophisticated lady for sure He might be sometimes a little bit selfish also in love and women he can attract as well could be also quite selfish he might also have some kind of it's a very specific type of a woman he is attracted to. Let's say I only date, I don't know, 5.9 height models, or I only date women with big green eyes, or I only date women like, you know, there could be some unrealistic sometimes of expectations about appearance, what he wants from a woman. So I've seen this, I actually know even some spiritual men, to be honest, who know so much about spirituality, who are so elevated, who are so evolved, and I notice like some of the choices they make, who they actually date. I'm not gonna say who, who is actually a few people, you know, even in spiritual online community. And like, you see the kind of women he dates and you're like, what? I didn't like, cause he's clearly just has a type and the type and he dates literally same looking lady. And I'm like, I always start investigating what's happening on the Shirley chart. I'm like, oh, Venus and Leo, okay, I see. They sometimes are also very like, you know, it's like they're a blind spot and they don't really see how is it a problem. They're like, oh, why should I settle for anything less? And of course they shouldn't, but I notice that these men sometimes tend to have very high standards and sometimes because of this super high standards, especially when it comes to appearance of a woman, a lot of difficult lessons might also be there as well. Now, if you're, of course, a woman who has Venus and Leo, this will play out a little different. You will be this very um, regal woman yourself. You will like to be treated as a queen. And I always tell to all the people who I know who have Venus and Leo, if you are in a relationship where a man doesn't honor you when he cheats on you or where he looks at other women, you know, and you're staying there, you keep hurting your own femininity, your own goddess Venus energy within. Because nothing is a more of an ego blow to a woman who has Venus in the sign of Leo or even any other significant placements in Leo for that placement as not being acknowledged as he's only in one queen, he's only in one special lady. So you really want that partner who has all his eyes on you and who really treats you in a special, magical way. I think all women do, but Venus with Venus and Leo, it's just they have this very queen, very regal energy about themselves. So, you know important to know this so that you could be more self-aware, I think. Now let's talk about Venus in the sign of Virgo man. What kind of woman is he attracted to? 
I'll be honest with you ladies, both Venus and Virgo, men and women, is one of the most challenging placements and this is why maybe I ended up doing these placements in the end because we started with Scorpio today. Now, let's start just very quickly with Venus and the sign of Virgo, ladies. I just have a few, few, few advices I want to give to you, a piece of advice I want to give to you. If you're a Venus and Virgo woman, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't try to cater so much to your partners. Don't try to judge yourself so much. I see sometimes I have some friends who have Venus and Sun and Virgo, and I've seen this in charts of even clients as well, where they just judging themselves so much. My nose is not perfect. My hair needs to be this way. Of course, everyone wants to improve themselves. I personally find nothing wrong, neither with cosmetic enhancements, nor with any improvement, but once again, it has to come more from a place, I think, of self-love where you're just, you know, I want to make myself even better rather than constantly searching for faults within yourself because unfortunately so many people I know, women with Venus and Virgo, who are perfect and beautiful but they are always hard on themselves, they constantly pick on themselves and they constantly also cater to their partners way too much. Like I've even seen women who end up paying man's bills, providing them a home, constantly also cleaning even, you know, and and they still think if the relationship doesn't work out, it's their fault. So ladies, be careful with this placement if you have it yourself. Now, if your man has Venus in the sign of Virgo, let's talk about that. From my experience, Venus in the sign of uh, Virgo in the, charts, in the chart of a man can manifest in different ways. I've seen it go kind of in two directions. And I guess this is where his moon and Mercury placement will be important. So it could be a person, let's talk with a little bit more of an easy scenario. It could be a person, a man who likes simplicity in love, who is a little bit shy, maybe also a little bit um, insecure in himself. He likes women who perhaps are a bit modest in nature, very simple, maybe are also in some kind of either healing profession, doctors, like to take care of animals, like to take care of people, have this not necessarily even nurturing side to them, but that side where they like to help, they like to be of service to others. When this man has a bit more of a good, well-placed Venus, he tends to be extremely uh, attentive to the needs of his partner, trying to accommodate her, trying to even think of the smallest uh, ways how he can help her, how can he attend to her needs. So this is more of a better position of Venus if, if again, there's good aspects there, degrees, all these things matter. Now, in a more difficult manifestation of a Venus in Virgo, this can be a man who is never happy with women. He is always critical of women. I've seen this also very often. Unfortunately, second case is what I've seen more so than the first one. This can be a man who is constantly unhappy with either his wife or girlfriend, so women he dates. He might be the kind of man who is just, you know, he promises so much, but then he sees a woman on a date and let's say her, he, she has one pimple, I don't know, or something about her, the tone of her voice is not pleasing to, to him and he might totally get turned off by a woman. He has this also kind of similarly to a Leo man, and especially if there's other planets he has in Leo, he has sometimes a bit of unrealistic standards to what he expects from a woman. He wants a woman to be this and be that, and you know, there was this recent, I think, Cynthia Nixon video, right, about be a woman, they said. So it's almost like this is the man with Venus and Virgo, who just wants a woman to be this and this and that, and yet she can try and be all of these things he wants and he still will not be happy. So, you know, a bit of a difficult placement and um, I even have a friend who is a very, very, he's an amazing person, he's a spiritual teacher, he's so, he worked on himself so hard and uh, I think a few months ago we were having dinner when I was traveling and we were just talking, you know, so what are you working on? We kind of had this kind of spiritual conversation, what I think my challenges are what I need to work on at the moments where I'm struggling and I asked him the same and so he told me something which shocked me I couldn't believe it. I thought he was making fun of me he told me how like he worked on himself so much he'd been of service to different people but he told me how his biggest problem is that even after all these years of doing spiritual work he cannot be happy with women like he starts dating someone and very quickly get disappointed because he has all these high standards and even though he's aware of that and he's been working on it he's like i just cannot do this like i pray i do everything because again this is a very spiritual man we're talking here about not just a regular guy and he's like and it's still the same so there is a little bit of that energy and he said how he just becomes very easily dissatisfied and it becomes a turn off and it's hard for him to also fall in love because he's so critical and so judgmental even so I was like, oh wow, and I couldn't believe him, but then he was like, oh, I have Venus in Virgo, I'm like, oh yeah, I believe you, <laughs> so there can be that. 
So if let's say you've been dating a man who have Venus in the sign of Virgo and suddenly, you know, he started mistreating you or let's say you were dated and out of nowhere he also started being, you know, kind of like acting unavailable. It could just be, it's again, nothing wrong with you most likely. It's his own pain when it comes to often unrealistic standards and being very judgmental and critical when it comes to women. Once again, once you become self-aware, probably you can correct this, you can transform this, but it can be quite a hard placement for a man. And again, of course, it will depend on um, other placements in his chart, because there could be a first case scenario where he's just a bit more modest, maybe likes women who are just a little bit more simple, nice, you know, and all of these things. But I've seen somehow second case being, to be honest, more prominent and more frequent rather than the first one. And of course, something I also want to mention with a man who have who has Venus in the sign of Virgo is that he will be probably way more attracted to women who exercise regularly, eat healthy rather than, let's say, a lady who drinks a lot or, you know, is somehow has unhealthy habits. This could be a huge turn off as well because don't forget, Virgo is a sign of very health conscious person, healer, hypochondriac sometimes, so they don't want anything unclean or anything that is, you know, toxic in some kind of way. So that is that as well. Now let's talk about Venus in the sign of Libra, which is another home placement for Venus. Um, Venus in the sign of Libra, man, what are they attracted to? This is a beautiful placement because Venus in the sign of Libra, man, they are kind of similar with Venus in Leo, man, in a good way because um, they love women who have this dignity about them and this, you know, a bit of a, I don't want to say higher class, but you know that regal of regal quality to them very socially charming very beautiful but not in a stuck up way so they are not necessarily into like your top models nothing wrong with top models they could be attracted to beautiful women of all kinds but again there is not going to be this standoffish quality where things are over the top or their requirements or the physicality of the partner are over the top they love somebody beautiful somebody charming Best example I can think of from famous people who have Venus in Libra is Prince Harry. Prince Harry has Venus in the sign of Libra and he's married to Meghan Markle. So Meghan Markle is kind of a perfect archetype, a perfect example of what kind of woman, man with the sign of Libra will be attracted to. Because if you think about her, she's very beautiful, right? But at the same time, it's not in this over-the-top way. She's very natural. There, She's very... I personally love her. She's very, like socially graceful and there is this very feminine quality to her but at the same time not nothing about her suggests that she somehow you know even though i don't i, I think i know they right as i'm recording this they lost their regal whatever titles but there is something about her which says princess yet you know kind of like almost similar to diana like this very um accessible or something like very some kind of beautiful simplicity is their grace balance of that libra so, and I think Meghan Markle has, if I'm not mistaken, she has Moon in the sign of Libra, also Jupiter, I think, in the sign of Libra, and I think even Saturn in the sign of Libra. So she, in a way, embodies this Libra archetype perfectly. And once again, it is that woman who is charming, who knows how to behave herself in social environment, who is beautiful, but it doesn't have to be so, like, such specific, you know, she might be more beautiful even naturally, and it's her, part of her beauty is also how she carries herself in social setting, because if you think about it, even though Meghan Markle is, of course, so beautiful, right, as a woman, it's, what makes her even beautiful is how she behaves, how she smiles, how she carries herself, which, you know, I have to say, not all royals, so not even all, you know, public personalities have this kind of charm. I'm personally always magnetized whenever I watch her, so, like really observe you if you want to understand how like what kind of a woman man with the sign of Libra is attracted to because that is I think it's just you could not come up with a better example like I can think of yes he can sometimes be a bit fickle uh, before he finds this perfect lady because yes he is searching for a little bit of perfectionism but more so it just has to be you know this perfect princess that's just gonna make him forget about everyone else and until he finds that he might be also looking as you know Libra always looking for the balance until it finds it so he might be sometimes also like looking for different women trying to find, him, find himself through relationships relationships are a huge part uh, for him and if, if you can even see right in that specific example Harry right even you know moved out from the royal house just because of his relationship because of his woman so his woman and his relationship are gonna be huge 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 very important in his life and he might not necessarily even make sacrifices but he might place her 
make her more important than other things in his life. That could very much be. Again, we'll need to see what's happening in his seventh house, of course, happening with his moon and all of that. Um, placements to understand this better. But anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to end this. I hope you enjoyed this analysis of Venus. Um, let me know, share your stories uh, in the comments below if you've ever been attracted to a man with a specific Venus placement, if you think that he is actually attracted to this kind of woman. Uh, what, where is your own Venus at? Sorry, I don't know, I had something here. If you, if you, where your own Venus placement is at, how do you express your femininity? Uh, what are you attracted to yourself in terms of like beauty? Um, if you're a man who has Venus in certain placement, let me know. What are you interested in? Like what kind of women do you feel attracted to? What do you find attractive in women? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It will really help my channel. Comment your stories below. If you have Instagram, follow me there as Astro in Wonderland. And if you're interested in any classes, readings, merchandise, other videos, check out the description box because it's gonna show you everything you need to find on this channel. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna talk soon. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.